A strong business starts with a strong online reputation. You're not gonna wanna rush out to a one-star furniture store to outfit your new living room, probably because it's gone out of business. No, when you wanna get high quality items and a top-notch experience, you're looking for the elusive and oh-so-amazing five-star rating. And you're not alone. When an online business ranks higher on Google and Facebook, it builds trust and credibility. And for the consumer, you just know it's gonna be good. Hey, I'm Isaiah Rondoria with Podium, and today I'll go over how to build a five-star online reputation. Let's talk shop. When it comes to online reviews, it's a mix of quantity and quality. Today's shoppers aren't going to fall in love with just the single five-star review, just as much as they won't go running to a business with thousands of one, two, or three-star reviews. It's a delicate balance, but a balance that really matters in getting found and chosen online. In fact, 65% of consumers read an online review in the last week. 93% of people say online reviews impact their purchase decisions, and roughly half of consumers will travel farther and pay more for a higher reviewed business. Online reviews also play a huge role in the visibility and online ranking of your business. Even though Google likes to keep how they calculate local search rankings close to the vest, they do say that more attention is given to relevance, prominence, and distance. Plus, the more reviews you get, the faster you get them, and the more diverse your reviews are, the better you'll rank, and the more likely you are to get chosen by consumers. That means small businesses actually have an advantage over national chains on local SEO. But to exploit that advantage, you have to consistently get more new and authentic reviews. Okay, I'm gonna shift gears and maybe blow your mind a bit too. Early on, I talked about the importance of five-star reviews. And don't get me wrong, five-star reviews are great, but they aren't the only thing potential customers are looking for. As a business, you should strive for a healthy mix of high average star ratings, fresh reviews, and high quality reviews. So even though a third of consumers look for at least a four star average review rating, expecting your business to achieve a perfect five star rating may prove to be too difficult to achieve. Instead, try focusing on consistently generating high quality reviews. And here's how you do it. It all starts with making it ridiculously easy for customers to leave a review at the right time and at the right place. As a general rule of thumb, try to ask them verbally in person right after they've had a positive experience and have had some downtime to provide a thoughtful review. If you work in the auto industry, this is right after a sale while they're waiting to sign financing paperwork. If you're a doctor or dentist, it's right after a patient is finished with their appointment and meeting with the front desk. You wanna get them when the service is still top of mind. So don't wait. And again, make it easy for them. We find that the most convenient way for you to collect and for your customers to leave reviews is by, drum roll please, text. Text messages perform higher than emails. And across the thousands of local businesses we work with, we find that consumers open text faster, more often, and will even switch to a different business because they communicate via text. And with the right reputation management tool, you can automatically send a review request at any time and tap into a 15 times greater completion rate than email requests. Okay, so now that we know that reviews are great, let's talk about the best way to ask for them. Before you rush into asking for a review, you should think about the answers to these five questions. Number one, why do you want customer reviews? It's likely because you value their feedback and want to serve them better. Number two, who should you ask for a review? As easy as it is to just ask happy customers, don't. You want your reviews to be authentic, and that means everyone's voice should be heard. In so-called review gating, that is, screening for only positive reviews, is also prohibited by Google. Number three, how should you send the invitation to leave a review? I think you already know how I feel about texting to get feedback, but you can also consider email or online surveys too. Okay, question four. What should you ask for in a review? It's all in the details. The best reviews are helpful to future customers. What did they buy? What is your business's expertise? 
how do they recommend working with you? This will also help you show up in the right searches. If you own a gym that specializes in a certain type of class, you want that represented in your reviews so your audience can easily find you. And finally, question five, when should you send the invitation? Come on, this is an easy one. The answer is immediately, but it's okay to follow up a few days later too. A little reminder can go a long way. And here's an idea of what you could say. I've enjoyed helping you today. Can I send you a text message with a link to review our business? It won't take long and your review helps ensure every customer has a good experience. Thank you. You don't have to take that suggestion word for word, but do try to say the same thing across all your locations to create a consistent customer experience. Speaking of review locations, I'm sure you're wondering which review sites matter most. The long answer is, it depends on your industry, your goals, and your location. The short answer is Google and Facebook. Once you've gotten your review presence up and firing on all cylinders on these two sites, you can look into other industry-specific or vertical-specific review sites to complement your strategy. These include healthgrades.com for doctors, Avo for lawyers, and House for home builders, just to name a few. Today we talked about how online reviews work, why they're important, balancing quantity, quality, authenticity, and frequency, and how to ask so you can get the best, most authentic reviews possible for your business. As host, I'd say it was a five-star experience for me and hope you feel the same way. Make sure to tune in for our next video. It's gonna be a good one. Thank you.